Hey guys, it's Zen Maiden One. How are you? Coming in on a hot Los Angeles day. And uh, just got back from the retinal specialist and had my six, no, three month post op. Had it in March. My eyes are dilated and it's very hard to see. So I just thought I'd make a sunglasses video. Sorry about that. Give you a little update. Just to put something out um, because I haven't made a video in quite a while. So, long story short, um, my retina is still healing in the right eye. He said it's um, it was very swollen, so to say. And because I had the ERM, this membrane pulling on it for so long, uh, it really wasn't that long. I think it was like about eight months, but still. Anyway, it's still going back down and he's hoping it will go down even further. My vision right now in this eye is like 2070. This is my good eye. This is the one that at least it doesn't have those crazy, uh, you know, where a line should be straight, it's wavy. That's better. But as far as great vision out of it, um, at least I can see, so I'm happy. So guys, on my revision to gastric bypass seven month update, oh, you know, I want to say I had hoped I'd be farther along or to my goal by now because my surgery was November 11th, 2021. But I'm down to 179 and going downward. I started to change some things up in June. And like mid-June, I started with the um, a plan called Optivia. Even though I have gastric bypass, um, I don't follow it to the letter but I do the fuelings in the both of the day, the five and one. And I, so I have one real meal um, in the evening where I have some meat. It's supposed to be more ounces than I can actually eat. But so anyway, I have like three ounces of uh, meat if it's dense and I can have a little more if it's not so dense. And then I have a green vegetable or salad. So during the day, um, I make use of their fuelings. I've had fun fun playing around with it um i'm not into the multi-level marketing thing or the coaching thing or really i'm just using it for, to jump start my loss again and so i did lose um seven pounds in two weeks so that's good so i'm going to continue on with that vein and see how it goes because it's pretty easy to follow um once you get past the fact that you're eating sawdust <laughs> Some of the stuff tastes like you eat sawdust, but you know what? I figured I'd eat dirt to lose weight. So what's the difference, right? Expensive sawdust. So that's what I'm doing. That's what jump started my weight loss here. And because I had been stalled out for a while, I also stopped eating dairy 99.9%. Um, I do have whatever dairy is in the Premier Protein Shakes. And by the way, oh my gosh, the best, best, best Premier Protein Shake is the Root Beer Float. Root Beer Float. Hands down, it is very, very good. And I bought cases and cases and cases of it because it's so good. It tastes like, if you're like a kid like me at heart, used to have Root Beer Floats growing up. So now, this tastes like the Root Beer Float after the ice cream is melted. So. Max is over there, my dog, looking at something on the patio here. But anyway, yeah, so that's the story on those. I highly recommend them, and I've tasted a billion shakes. These are hands down the best. I know some people really love the chocolate. Eh, chocolate, it's okay. The root beer float, though, I can drink it down in record time. So that tells you it's good. If you like root beer float, thumbs up. If you don't, well, sorry about your luck. But anyway, gastric bypass has been very good to me. I have been feeling great. Uh, my plumbing works great. I do have to take certain things to make sure that things keep moving uh, in the softener family and also some fiber tablets to make sure that keeps going. And with those things and drinking, um, this is flavored water, sugar-free, and I have my calcium in the bottom. You gotta stir it up. Epcal D, the powder. I don't really like swallowing calcium pills. So these are good. I like the packaged orange ones better, but I bought a big thing of it, so I'm using it out. So keeping the bones going on. And I've tried some different vitamins. Um, tried chewable and I've tried capsule and 
Anyway, so I'm still in on the fence about what are the best ones to take, but I do take them. I, I have to make a video about this one brand that I bought. They are good vitamins, but oh my God, I put it in my mouth. It tastes so disgusting and it's in a capsule and the smell, whatever it is, not liking it, but I'm using them up. So guys, um, weight loss is pretty, pretty good at this point. Um, like I said, I was stalled and I wasn't snacking on crap or anything, but you know, those, either the carbs were getting me from my, I was eating a lot of beans or the dairy was kicking my butt. So I just scale, I, I don't need any, any yogurt now, no half and half. I use soy in my coffee, a little soy unsweetened with um, stevia. I get my Starbucks, I get soy. And so I don't even use half and half at Starbucks, not even on my birthday. On my birthday, sorry, my neck. Um, I had a virgin Bloody Mary. That's what I had. And then I had uh, fajitas and I ate a few bites of that. And a couple of chips was my treat, but I didn't gain weight. So that's good. And no dessert. So yeah, it's all good. So guys, I hope you're doing well. I hope your losses are coming along. And you can always try eliminating dairy as I did to see if that speeds things up for you. I do take a probiotic. I highly recommend them. I take a 60 billion probiotic I bought on Amazon. It's really good. I think it helps. Um, food, there's nothing I can't eat except for really woody kind of like vegetables like that are stringy or like uh, the end of an asparagus or those kind of woody thing. I don't even attempt to eat those. And if like a veggie tray, celery, I stay away from that unless it's cooked. But really much other than that, um, in my normal day eating, I found it pretty easy to follow and I've not felt sick, not even one time. Remember y'all with the gastric sleeve, I was sick for months. So this is a huge difference. And yeah, I'm excited about it. And I hope to get down to my goal. My goal is, I wanna say 140, 135, because for my height, that's where I should be. We'll see how I look. If I start looking, too faded away or, or whatever, too old lady, uh, shriveled up, mm, you know, I'm not gonna do it. Won't go all the way down, I'll stop where I feel like I look good and then wait out the, the maintenance thing and then go get my plastics done. I've been waiting a long time for that. So, um, again, hope you guys are doing well. If you have any questions about the gastric bypass, who I used, who I recommend, what I like, what I don't like versus the gastric sleeve. I'm here to answer them for you. So ask away and ciao for now.